Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for attending our talk on uh, air resistor liquid cooling solution for uh, enabling liquid hardware. I'm Rajesh. Uh, I'm a product development engineer at AMD, and I'm with Albert, uh, thermal engineer from Vivin. I think everyone by now knows what is ALC, but I'm going to briefly go over uh, what is ALC again, and we're going to talk about uh, what is sidecar. ALC, as you know, is a hybrid cooling solution um, that uses efficiently liquid cooling and air cooling uh, together for a reliable solution. Uh, we have two types, uh, radar heat exchanger um, and a sidecar solution. As you see in, on the left side, you have a radio heat exchanger uh, where a heat exchanger is uh, on the back of the server rack um, that takes the air from servers and cools the uh, liquid from um, the IT hardware. Uh, in, in turn, uh, releases that heat to the facility air. Uh, but whereas in the sidecar, uh, your heat exchanger is next to the uh, rack, IT rack, uh, you have more space here and that comes with more capacity uh, that can handle higher heat loads uh, and higher heat capacity. So ALC sidecar, in this particular track, uh, we, we're gonna talk about uh, how, how to enable uh, the high power density uh, server racks uh, uh, that are coming uh, with uh, higher um, thousand watts uh, uh, ish uh, IT power uh, at the chip level. Um, how can we enable that using liquid cooling uh, for air cooled data centers? Uh, the sidecar project uh, sub project uh, intention is to evaluate the existing uh, solutions for the sidecar sol uh, and uh, evaluate uh, the uh, performance for those and provide some guidelines on uh, how to select the sidecar for uh, your particular application and uh, e evaluate potentially how can we extend that uh, capacity for future hardware as the power densities at the rack level are going up. Right now we are at 120 kilowatts per rack it could go up uh, further uh, down the line. So how can we catch up to the technology and, and implement it uh, using a sidecar? Um, in today's sidecar, there are multiple designs uh, with the different form factors. As you can see on the Explo4, uh, uh, various vendors uh, um, in the market uh, with one new rack, two new rack with their custom version of the sidecar. So we want to define uh, the form factor and, and give some guidelines uh, to industry who come up with innovative uh, cooling solutions uh, for the sidecar design. Uh, so the white paper uh, we want to publish uh, is gonna guide them in designing a feasible solution uh, that can seamlessly integrate into data center environments. Ideally, uh, the sidecar form factor is uh, identical to the IT rack um, uh, that, that the sidecar is gonna cool, uh, but uh, it might not be able to uh, cool the whole rack. That's where uh, we have uh, two different, three different options where if a single sidecar is capable, you, you can have that, or you can adopt into multiple sidecars that can be uh, combined together to form, uh, to cool a single IT rack, or have a single sidecar uh, that occupies uh, a multiple uh, rack space width uh, can cool a single IT rack. Um, there, are, there are pros and cons that comes with uh, uh, these different solutions. Um, efficiency, capacity, are, uh, and redundancy are the main uh, uh, factors that influence how the data centers adopt these solutions. So uh, we rated those uh, you know, two different, uh, all these three options. Um, the third option is a little bit better uh, in, in eff efficiency and capacity um, because now you can, as you have more space, 
Uh, you can have uh, bigger pumps, bigger heat exchangers uh, with higher efficiencies that can be incorporated into those form factors uh, and, uh, and have better, uh, better performance. Uh, and then we want to define a design criteria. So the, de the design criteria uh, we, uh, we categorize into critical components, non-critical components, and uh, single point failure components. Um, these critical components uh, are mandatory without which like, you cannot uh, run a, a sidecar, such as um, pumps, uh, filters, fans, PSUs. Um, and uh, these uh, uh, can be hot swappable and, and have some redundancy baked into the design itself. Uh, so that um, you b without having to stop the operations, you can replace these components uh, uh, and, and it is oper fully operational. Non-critical components are defined as uh, uh, components that needs to be there, but not necessarily needed a hot swapping. So for example, as a thermocouple or a pressure sensor, without that, your control system automatically can default into a maximum uh, cooling capacity for the sidecar and still can operate, um, but not at a very efficient level. So these needs to be replaced uh, as need uh, in a timely fashion to be very efficient, but not necessarily. These are not uh, these are not gonna stop the operation of the sidecar. Uh, the single point failures. Uh, are such as like heat exchanger itself or the manifolds or the tubes or, or the valves. Uh, these uh, are single point of failures like without which you, you wouldn't be able to operate the uh, sidecar itself. Um, uh, and uh, these ca can be operated like off the site. Um, so this is a complete failure of that particular uh, sidecar. Uh, so we are defining these uh, criteria uh, for, as a guideline for how uh, all the vendors can unify on, on the design, uh, designing the sidecar components. Um, and we're transitioning into a phase where the chip, pop, chip power densities are very high. Um, uh, maybe single phase might not be the only solution. A two phase can also be one of the solutions that can be uh, incorporated at this stage. So the sidecar solution can be designed for both single phase and two phase uh, liquids. Um, there are some uh, major uh, differences on how, you, how these sidecars are gonna operate um, from the manifolds level. Uh, so we listed some handful of differences uh, between those two on, on pumping flow rates are gonna be completely different. Uh, so as the pressure requirements, uh, filtration requirements. So all, uh, all of these are gonna be uh, defined in the white paper uh, coming days. We, we, want to, uh, uh, we want to bring in more uh, contributors who, who, would, uh, who have more knowledge on this uh, to, to help us in defining these, uh, these differences uh, and write out uh, a guideline for both single phase and two phase. Um, now I'm gonna uh, hand over to Albert to talk about uh, radio heat exchanger and sidecar data. Yes. Uh, yeah. Hi everyone. Uh, this is uh, Albert from Winsome team. So uh, I I will share some test result of the air uh, air assistant liquid cooling solution feature, including the sidecar and the rear door heat exchanger. So first I want to talk about the test setup. So you can see the photos, the, the, the left photos. That is the uh, dummy server, which uh, has the eight piece, the one kilowatt some test vehicle in the one for you chassis. And the, for the corporate design, we also have the eight piece, the corporate and the in uh, parallel configuration. The total, the, and the, for the dummy server, the around the 95% power is well cooled by liquid. So when we, uh, this is a slide to show when we implement the dummy servers uh, on the open rec, open rec BC and with the rear door heat changer. When we increase the heat load by the increasing the dummy server quality, 
the total uh, cooling power consumption will increase the exploration. And uh, uh, we also perform the test to keep the same uh, TKs of the thermal test vehicle and that by adjusting the uh, uh, different uh, current flow rate and uh, the air flow usage. Uh, from the chart, you can see the cooling power will be reduced uh, when we increase in the pump, pump duty and uh, decrease the fan duty of the door heat changer. So based on the test result, you can see uh, we will have around 40% uh, cooling power saving when uh, we increase the flow rate setting from 0.8 LPM uh, per kilowatt to 1.5 LPM per kilowatt. Then uh, we also uh, perform a test uh, with the sidecar. So uh, we also implement the dummy server, uh, on the, uh, uh, implement the, the dummy server for the test and uh, use the sidecar to do the same test. And uh, we, <coughs> the, the order to compare the cooling power and the air flow usage uh, between the sidecar and the, the rear door heat changer, uh, especially under the same uh, approach temperature. So you can, uh, from this chart, you can see uh, when, when approach temperature is, uh, is around five degrees C, uh, we, uh, you have a chance to say around 30% uh, cooling power and the air flow usage uh, by replacing the rear door heat changer with the sidecar. Then if we increase the approach temperature from five degrees C to 10 degrees C, uh, we can save more power around 40% uh, cooling power and uh, also for the air flow usage. So as the uh, previous mentioned, uh, looks like the uh, sidecar is the uh, current common uh, uh, solution uh, for uh, IT gear rack. So, so especially uh, uh, sidecar can be the uh, uh, rack level uh, heat ejection unit for the liquid cooling IT rack, especially for EC data center uh, already uh, without the facility water. So, uh, so we really want to see uh, more uh, uh, users and the vendors to join this group and uh, uh, to define the guideline and uh, push the capabilities together. And uh, if you are interested to get involved in the uh, project, uh, you can uh, use the link of the QR code on the screen uh, to join the monthly call, uh, which is on the first uh, Tuesday of the month, and uh, uh, to join the, this sidecar. That is the, all the material. Thank you. So we have time for a few questions. Please walk up to the microphone. Thanks to the speakers. Thank you.